It's kind of funny. I got an iPod, and I really like the idea of an iPod, you know, being able to listen to music all day, and I use it at work. And it's great. It works out. It makes my day so much faster. It'd be, oh, it'd be so boring if I didn't have it. And I got, you know, grown accustomed to it. But what happens now is I just, I just kill certain songs by overplaying them until they're dead to me. That's what the iPod does. It's a, it's a music killer. So it makes you have to rummage for more music, you know, wherever you can find it, you know, or rediscover music that you used to like, but now, but now you've, you know, grown apart from it, and then you comes back and you're like, it's brand new for kind of millisecond. It's brand new, and you're able to listen to it again. But uh, it, you know, it's hard to find new music. I mean, you run out of ideas and. One thing I discovered was uh, Goodwill. They have a lot of cool CDs. Yeah, and I went there today and I picked up some while I was browsing. Uh, I don't know as much bands as some, you know, music uh, trivia experts, you know, know everything about everybody. I just, <laughs> a main judge for me is the cover art sometimes. Sometimes I just pick up a CD because of its cover art because I've never heard of the band and it's like surprised me. And, you know, it's only going to be like $2.75, so even if it's shit, I still got a nice picture, I guess. So uh, today I picked up some. Uh, here on top we got a, a Beach Boys hit thing. And I mean, that's like I was talking about earlier, rediscovering classics. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Beach Boys. And I've already listened to some of these songs and I put them on my iPod. Uh, my favorite's... Uh, wouldn't it be nice? I like that one. Uh, good vibrations, good. And, you know they got the classics. I like Little Deuce Cube. And the sur they got a bunch of surfing songs, and they're good too. Yeah, they'll get old fast, but uh, they'll give us. I get some mileage out of this. Uh, I used to have a different Beach Boys uh, collection, but all the CDs got broken somehow, like being left in the car on a really hot day and warped or. Sat a fish aquarium on them. I don't know. I don't remember, but it's always good to have the classic. Um, this is definitely one I got for the cover art. I, didn't even, I never heard of them before. Bright Eyes. They say they were big. Uh, they were big with that uh, voter die campaign back in uh, 2004, but I don't remember them. So, got it. I listened to some of the songs, and it just wasn't quite my thing. But. uh Oh, look, they only, I forgot they don't even have the lyrics. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess you have to like that kind of music. It's Everything sounds the same, and it's kind of folky, but not really catchy at all. And I, I, I'm really a whore for catchy. Give me something catchy, you know. Uh, that's the Beach Boys. And, uh, yeah, I like the cover. Right? I mean, I'm still not, I'm not mad. I can't really be angry. And then I got this. Uh, I never heard of her. It's her name's Poe. And uh, this is Hello. And this was really good. I was able to get some songs off of this. Uh, my three favorite song from this is uh, uh, Tr Trigger Happy Jack. Let's see. Ugh. That day and Angry Johnny. Those are really good. It's kind of it's popish and. A lot of it seems like just uh, amateur poetry. Although there are a lot of, uh, I don't know, it seems like four sexual things in there. But uh, she's a good good artist. Uh, I don't have a lot of females in my you know, music collection. And it's really something I'm lacking. So I'm glad I added this. It's good. Um, oh, I found this. And I always loved that. Uh, the Crash Test Dummies. Back in the early 90s. And this is God Shuffled His Feet. And they got some good songs on here. So, here's the problem. A lot of their songs sound exactly alike. You know? It's, it's, gets old fast. Uh, but I like God Shuffled His Feet. Then Afternoons and Coffee Spoons. That one sound. everyone else sounds like number two there. Afternoons and Coffee Spoons. All these, all these sound a lot like it. Mm, 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 mm is good. Uh, Weird Al did a good, really good parody of that one. It's really funny about different things that happened in the 90s. I think one was uh, Tanya Harding. 
Yeah, that's funny. Uh, that really end song right there, Untitled, that's really interesting. It's uh, just instrument, and it's it's kind of a cool little piece they put together. I wish they you know went more experimental with stuff like that than rather jamming it up with a lot of songs that sound a lot alike. Um, I saw this. It was a Clash tribute album, uh, Burning London. Yeah, I always, I never really got really into the Clash, but I, I liked some of their songs. But I didn't like this at all. This this sucked. But at least I got the cover art. Yeah. Let's see. They got the best song on here. Let's see. They have No Doubt. They have Third Eye Blind and the Ice Cube, which really sucked. And the Go Girls. The best one to me was uh, the Mighty Mighty Boston's. Did uh, Rudy Can't Fail. And Rancid did a pretty good cheat. But the rest, uh, they're forgettable and lacking. And then, uh, oh yeah, I got this. I feel like kind of a whore for getting this. This is kind of stupid. It says uh, Billboard uh, Albums 1960. But, uh, it's fun. I like old fashioned music too. I like Stay, you know. Stay a little bit longer, you know. And I like, uh, You Talk Too Much. I've never heard that before. So that's good to have. I'm gonna, I put that on my iPod. Uh, Joe Jones. Uh, Sweet Nothings was a good song, too. I think those are my three favorite out of this. The Twist is a classic, but, I mean, it's easy to find. But it's good to have, I guess, a hard copy. In case the, in case the RIAA ever tries to bust down my door. Like... You got twist on your computer, boy. Where's your hard copy of this? Here you go. Billboard 1960. Top rock and roll hits. Sorry for disturbing you, sir. Won't happen again. Uh-huh. But I thought I'd share. I mean, they're pretty good. I, I like my choices, and even the ones I didn't really like, I got some cool cover art, and I got an actual CD. It's good. It's a good collection to start. Now, especially since they're getting cheaper, since MP3s are the big thing, you know, so. It's a nice opportunity to own hard copies of music. I encourage anybody who wants to, to do it. I'll probably go back for more if we will my iPod. It needs new meat. And I'll feed it recycled meat. Because new music sucks. Alrighty. Later.